All right, this is the first video for 2021 and the first of many for this year. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at three logo animation techniques for creating this logo intro right here inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing excellent. All right, so I'm breaking this video down in three parts because it's a lot more simple to see how easy it is to put together this type of logo animation. So first we're gonna talk about animating, designing the logo to designing your scene and to adding just some creative effects to really take this next level. All these elements come together to create this really cool intro right here for After Effects. So we're gonna jump into our tutorial and we're gonna get started. And as always, you can download our project files for free if you want to follow along. Here we are in our tutorial composition. And the first step, we're gonna go ahead and create the logo animation with the styling. So we already have our logo in here and when you have that logo ready to go, what you do is go to layer, pre-compose and you can call it logo placeholder. This way you can change things out later. And then what we're gonna do is go to effect generate and we're gonna grab gradient ramp. And we'll swap the colors because we're gonna use a gray, a white to black color here. We can bring down the color point here at the top and there's a color point here at the bottom. We can kind of bring that down. That will help increase the contrast. So we're gonna have this silver look. Then we'll go to effect perspective and we'll grab bevel alpha. And we'll set the edge thickness to 3.5 and the light intensity to 0.8. Awesome. Then we'll go to effect generate and we'll grab CC light sweep. We'll set the shape to smooth and there's a point here in the middle you see this light sweep that can go across we'll go ahead and bring it all the way off the logo on the left side come here at the beginning of our timeline and we'll add a keyframe for center and we'll move say to four seconds and we'll grab this light sweep and animate it across to the other side so now you'll see this light sweep going across but what we want to do here is grab the cc light sweep effect and duplicate it so we'll go to effect duplicate and we'll create maybe five to six different duplicates then we'll hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And what we're gonna do is offset these in time. So we'll grab the bottom five uh, sets of keyframes, offset them in time, then deselect the two top there, you know, and kind of just create a staircase animation with these. So we'll have a repeated look on our light sweep. All right, and just duplicate them however many times you want and offset them in time however you see fit. All right, so we have the setup here of our initial texture. Then what we can do is take our logo placeholder and we'll duplicate it. And then we'll go ahead and delete all the previous effects that we just added, wasted our time. No, we didn't. And then we'll do is go to effect, generate, and we're gonna grab Vegas. And certainly you can't lose your money in Vegas, so we're all gonna be good. So we'll come here to segments, we'll set this to one, and we'll change the color to white. And then I'll ask you to blend mode, set this to transparent. And we can solo the layer for now so we see what we're doing. And what we'll do is come here at the beginning of the timeline. What we'll do is come here to the length and maybe set this down to zero, add a keyframe for that, and we'll move forward in time maybe to a second. And we'll set the length up to like maybe 0.4, maybe 0.5. And then what we'll do is come here to say like five seconds. We'll hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. We'll add a keyframe right there. And then we'll move forward and set the length back down to zero. And you can stretch out the keyframes if you want this to be a little bit longer. It's completely up to you. And then what we're gonna do is all click the stopwatch for rotation and we're going to type in time asterisk 100 so now you'll have this line animation around your logo that will just you know animate around and then you can unsolo your layer and you know there it is but you really can't see it so we're going to make that more defined now so let's go to effect perspective and we're going to grab a drop shadow and we'll set the distance down to zero and we'll set the softness up to 20. And now you can select any color that you want, whatever glow color that you want. So I'm gonna go with blue for this case. And then when we're done, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this effect and we can set the distance up to like three. Then we'll go to effect, stylize, and we'll grab glow. And from here, we'll grab that original glow color there. So you grab color A, then you need to come here to glow colors and set this to A and B colors. Go color looping, set this to sawtooth, B greater than A. Then what we'll do is take our glow effect, duplicate it, and set the glow radius up to 35. And then we'll duplicate the glow effect one more time. And this time we'll just click on reset. Awesome. Then come here to your timeline and where this says blend mode, set this to screen. So nice, that's gonna blend in there very nice. And as we add more elements to this, it's gonna stand out even more. All right, last thing we need to do is completely finish the animation of our logo here. So quick little technique, I'll grab the bottom layer here and we'll grab the rectangle tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw out this rectangle like this. All right, we'll hit M on keyboard to bring up the mass path and we'll add a keyframe for that. We'll move forward in time, maybe two seconds. And we'll grab our mask and just move it over. Okay, so that will be up for a little bit. 
and you know that's it then we'll hit f on our keyboard for mass feather and we'll feather this out and now for our logo animation and design ready to go we can really take this to the next level really quick and before we move on to the next part of this tour i want to give a huge shout out to our motion graphics starter pack extension which has 650 templates right here for after effects so this is our motion graphics starter pack extension right here inside of after effects which holds hundreds of templates ranging from titles animated backgrounds called the actions shape transitions and more and for example if you're looking for a title animation we can come through here find a title animation that we want by previewing it and click on apply when we find the template that you want and we automatically get a full title animation imported into our composition which we can go into that title composition change out our titles to whatever we need it to say and we can easily adjust the graphics to fit our titles perfectly then it updates automatically in our main composition and we have this animation and then we can also apply accent motion graphics to help enhance this so we'll come into our clusters and we'll apply a very quick accent graphic cluster to this. So now we have our title animation with a little bit more detail with our accent graphics to help bring this to the next level. We can also apply an animated background to this or we can go to our expanded library of Sunduck backgrounds and we can find a background that works perfectly for our project and when you find the right template you go ahead and click on apply all right and now we're able to put together a full composition right here inside of after effects by adding titles anime backgrounds and accent graphics to help take this to the next level and we have a handful of different packs for our extension right here in after effects so you can build up your library of templates that you can apply into any project you are working on so if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time in your after effects work while producing awesome work you can take a look at any of the packs off our website i will link them below if you do pick up anything you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much all right so for our second technique we're going to go ahead and add some creative third-party free elements to help take this to the next level so first of all i have this you know video background of some bokeh that i've got from pexels uh, you can download our project files or you can search up bokeh on pexels i can bring this in here it's a little cool creative element doesn't look good by itself but we also have this uh volumetric light element uh, which you can download for free i will link it in the description um, and i'll go ahead and bring this element into our timeline and i love using these and one thing i'll need to do is scale this down and then what i'm going to do is come here to the blend mode and set this to overlay beautiful so we're starting to composite into our scene but the color looks horrible so we'll go to effect color correction curve and we can maybe darken this down by a little bit by creating an s curve then we'll come here to the red channel we can maybe bring this down by a little bit go to the green channel uh, bring that down as well and then i'll go to the blue channel and then we can kind of just move that up and that will help composite the color together a little bit better and one thing i'll do is i'll take this layer and move it over in time by a little bit because we'll get more of that beam of light so just by downloading a pack of these you can move them over in your timeline and find the right spot for uh, what looks best for your project and so far this is coming together and since we have these creative elements in here i want to be able to composite the animation out of the scene really subtly so what we can do is come here to layer new solid make sure to set the black and click ok and simply towards the end of our animation we'll just hit t on keyboard for opacity a lot of keyframe for this and we'll move that keyframe forward to the end of our animation you can say six and a half seconds and lower the opacity down to zero percent so the scene will kind of just fade away there and that looks fine all right, and third and final part here, we just wanna add some creative effects to make this really stand out. So what we'll do is come here to layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll go to effect, noise and grain, and we're gonna add noise. I wanna make sure all of our tutorials have this this year. Uh, uncheck use color noise and set this up to like 9%. Makes a huge difference. Then we'll go to effect, distort, and we're gonna grab CC lens, and still gonna love using this effect. Come here to begin beginning of our timeline, and we can set the size up to maybe like 100, 10 ish and we'll add a keyframe for this and we'll move forward in time maybe by a second and we'll set this up to i don't know 400 and this will create like a little bit of a distorted effect here uh we can make the last keyframe an easy easy keyframe by hitting f9 on our keyboard so by running through this it just adds a very subtle effect uh to the sides and you can adjust the keyframes however you see fit then we'll go ahead and create another adjustment layer and this is optional uh, let's go to effect stylize and we're gonna grab motion tile and from here what we're going to do is we're going to increase the output width and height by a little bit and then alt click the stopwatch for tile center and we're going to type in wiggle open parenthesis 0.5 comma 10 close just like this your expression make sure it looks like that and this will create a camera shake to your animation and make sure you check on mirror edges and then 
Of course, make sure you turn on motion blur for your entire scene and then you should be good to go. And now with all three of our techniques put together, we're able to put together a full logo animation that looks detailed and has a little bit of style to it. And you didn't lose your money in Vegas, so you know, that's pretty cool. So that is our first tutorial for 2021 and I hope you're able to create some really cool intros from watching this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week like this on our channel Sunduck Film. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.